feel kind of fat right now. I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, okay, just trust. Just trust that you did everything you could have, Ashley. Trust. Let's do it. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad to feature. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Sunday challenge. I'm still waiting for you guys to help me come up with a name for these Sunday challenges. So let me know down in the comments what you think we should call them. Maybe like Super Sunday 127 or something like that. I have no idea. Let me know down in the comments what you think. But welcome back to my channel. Today's challenge is actually a really good one. I'm actually super excited about it, especially because I've already weighed myself and I already know the results, if you catch my drift. <laughs> but today's video, we're gonna go through my week of being on a calorie deficit. If you've watched all of my other like weight loss fitness videos, I mentioned to you guys a lot that I dread counting calories. So I was like, I want to challenge myself to do it. So this week I partnered up with the Lose It app. And if you haven't heard of the Lose It app, it's an amazing calorie counting, calorie tracking app with a focus on actually losing weight. So they were nice enough to sponsor this video and get me through the week of counting calories because I have to say, I wasn't the best at it before this, before the Lose It app. I hated the idea of it. Like it just literally stressed me out and gave me anxiety. But we will talk about it after you guys watch me throughout the week. But it was honestly a lot easier than I thought it would be. So thank you to Lose It. But without any further ado, give this video a thumbs up preemptively. I always say that in my challenges, just to give it a preemptive thumbs up just for all of my hard work. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And let's get into the week of counting calories. Let's go. Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Monday. You know what Monday means. We're starting a new challenge. My potatoes are burning. One second. <laughs> anyway, what's up, you guys? So I've got my breakfast cooking on the stove because this week's challenge we're counting calories a little nervous about it but we have the help of a sponsor yes we have a sponsor for this video and the sponsor we have is the lose it app i have actually previously downloaded this before but if you know me you know i'm very afraid of counting calories so i kind of just disregarded it and never used it out of fear not out of it being difficult or anything like that literally just because counting calories makes me nervous but now that i have actually taken the time to dive into the app get a little bit more comfortable with it and get acquainted with it it actually makes life a lot easier so i haven't like fully been counting my calories today we're gonna start but last week, just to get accustomed with the app and like, you know, learn it a little bit, I did input some of my meals and stuff like that and it actually was like super simple. So, so first and foremost for this challenge, since we're gonna be using the Lose It app all week, I did wanna show you guys how it works, how to use it, all that good stuff. So yeah, let me set up the camera a little bit differently so that I can basically walk you guys through the app and show you exactly how to set it up for yourself that you, so that you can get your daily calorie budget. As you can tell by the name, Lose It is geared towards losing weight. So when you download it, you can put all of your information in there and they actually give you a calorie budget that sets you up with a calorie deficit so that you actually lose weight. Like they tell you exactly how many cal calories based on your height, your weight, your goals, all of that gives you the exact amount of calories you should be eating and intaking to actually lose weight. They take all of the hard work out of like figuring out how much you should actually be eating and they just do it for you and set you up for success. So I'm gonna set up this camera a little bit differently so that I can show you guys how it works. Okay you guys, so let's go into the app. This is what it looks like. It just says lose it and it's like a little scale so you can easily remember it. It's nice and bright orange. And I signed out um, so that I could show you guys exactly what it looks like when you download the app. This is the first thing you're gonna see. And you're gonna start by entering your birthday. So December 7th, 1992, let's go Sag. And then height, I'm like a generous 5'2", mostly 5'1", but we're gonna stick to 5'2". <laughs> And then currently my weight, I weighed myself yesterday, or uh, Saturday for the other challenge, and we're currently sitting at 203.4. And then female or male, you'd be surprised with like all of these things, even your birthday affects your weight loss and stuff like that. Like if you're younger, obviously you lose weight faster the older you get. It gets harder, which I'm learning as I'm approaching 27. <laughs> and then also between female and male, it actually does matter as well. So next, um, my goal weight, I don't want to put my end 
goal weight like I, I don't know I'm, I'm the kind of person that works better with like smaller goals so I'm going to put a goal weight of 180 like truthfully I want to sit at like 150 one day but that's like the end 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 goal like that's like the you know ultimate goal but we can work a little slower than that so I put 180 for goal weight and then it asks you how quickly you'd like to reach your goal honestly as quickly as possible <laughs> I feel like we're all gonna choose that, but honestly, but if you're realistic about your um, your lifestyle, how you like to eat, stuff like that, you can do it a little bit slower, but I feel like we're all gonna want faster results, so I put it all the way up to faster, and it gives you your weight loss plan right here. So it says the goal date, obviously it goes slower if you put it down, up if you make it faster. So by 2020, if I follow this plan, if I keep my daily calorie budget at 1345 every day, I will be able to lose 23.4 pounds, a weekly weight loss of two pounds by February 1st, which gives me three, a little less than three months, which I feel like is really good to lose 23.4 pounds in three months. So that is our calorie budget. We're gonna click next, and then you can create your account. I've already created accounts, created an account with the same exact information I just input, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign into that, and then I'll show you exactly what it looks like when you're in the app. One second. Okay, so when you log into the app, this is what you're gonna see. I know it says 1743 um, calories under budget. That's because I have not yet tracked anything that I've eaten because I'm gonna eat for the first time now. But I have already worked out and I will show you in a second how to link your Apple Watch or your Fitbit and stuff so that you don't even have to track your workouts. Whatever you burn on your Apple Watch or your Fitbit, it goes straight into here, which is why I have roughly 400 more calories than my calorie budget because I burned off about that much. So when you open it it looks like this this is your overall general like calorie summary this is gonna be your nutrient nutrients and then this is bonus calories that you can get by working out doing other things like that also lose it was kind enough to give me a premium membership so that I could show you guys everything like everything they offer the basic membership is great as well but if you're really dedicated to losing weight you're gonna want to go ahead and get this premium membership because it gives you so many more options like the automatic tracking from your Apple watch which which I guess I'll just show you guys that now. So this is like the home screen. You can click this. I actually need to add a picture. Let's actually do that now. Let's add a profile picture. Mm -hmm. I will just go ahead and choose this one because that's my most pre my most recent Instagram post. I'm gonna put my name in here and then it also has all of my information. I uh, don't really care to put a, a location, but you totally can if you want. So yeah, now we've got my picture in there and then this is like your profile. So automatic tracking here, you can set up. So this is exactly how I did it. I wear my Apple Watch, this guy right here, every time I work out. So that's how I track my workouts. So if you just click automatic uh, tracking and then connect the Apple Watch. I just put turn all categories on so that it literally tracks everything I'm doing because I basically wear this thing all day. And so now I get that calorie bonus of 250 calories because the app is configured with my health app which is tracked by my Apple Watch and now I'll see activity in my in my exercise section because it's already in there. So you can just press done. You can also do your steps. I'm pretty sure yeah, I'm gonna connect my steps in here too so it can track that and I can get bonuses from that as well. You can connect your Fitbit if you use that. Garmin, they have like a whole bunch of different apps in here that if you use any of these, they even have a lose it scale. Um, if you have any of these, you can just connect them and it automatically tracks it, which makes it so much more easy for you. Um, when you have the premium membership, you get way like more in-depth stuff and it makes it a lot easier for you to lose weight. Um, also, food insights. So this is obviously calories are like your biggest thing when you're trying to lose weight counting calories that's the whole point of this challenge but also counting your other macros like your fats your saturated fats sodium all that can really help you uh, shed weight too so all that is in there but basically this is like the overview and then if you want to log as you can see here this is what your food log looks like so they also break it down for you like how many calories they suggest um, to have per meal so that you can stay on track and we'll see I've already made a breakfast but we will see <laughs> I think what I picked for breakfast is actually pretty spot on with this and then we'll obviously go through the rest of the day as well and the rest of the week but as you can see down here my Apple watch has already tracked 53 minutes of exercise 399 calorie active calories and got our calorie bonus our steps bonus 
And then down here, I have already recorded my weight earlier, so you can just tap to add it and save it. I did that earlier this morning. You can also track your water intake, which I've already had a bottle of water, which was about 17 ounces, so I will put that in there. And you can literally track everything because it's so important also not to just eat the right amount of calories, but to drink water and to exercise and like literally you can put all of that in here. And then to log anything, you can click this plus sign and you can log your weight, your water intake, your all of that. But if you want to do obviously food and exercise is going to be the most important for this challenge and you know, just for life in general. So I can go to breakfast and I know right now I'm going to have two eggs scramble two eggs just eggs I'm gonna put that in there and then I'm also gonna have potato and I measured my potato and it was 2.8 ounces I generally like to do uh, like exact measurements because because it's obviously more accurate so 2.8 would be like two and three quarters yeah two and three quarters of potato and then I'm also gonna have half an avocado so gonna just click it and literally it's all like right here wait I want a Haas avocado so yeah California Haas and then I'm gonna have half so you can also measure this too but I mean an avocado is an avocado it's like a pretty standard size so that's 114 calories and then click done and that is all tracked so I'm a little bit over for this but I also did burn 400 calories so it kind of evens out like I'm still in my calorie budget so it's awesome we love to see it good start to the week let's get it in let's lose some weight guys Okay, you guys, this is my little breakfast. I ended up just doing like eggs over easy. And then I also went ahead and measured. So let me show you. So I got this little, I got this food scale on Instagram. I mean, Instagram, what am I talking about? I got this food scale on Amazon. And I basically, it just makes it easier to like literally measure exactly how much of anything you're eating so that you don't have to like guesstimate or anything. So I literally just put my plate on there and pressed zero. So it was like back to zero. And then I put the avocado in there and then it ended up being 2.8 ounces. So I went ahead in my app and I changed it. I changed the measurement to ounces and it actually lessened my calories because it's like exact now, which is awesome that you can change like the measurement. Um, you know, the scale of measurement. What is it called? The unit of measurement, there you go. Um, so now we have a little bit less calories, which is great. And then also these aren't scrambled eggs. So I'm thinking maybe, I mean, I don't think it's gonna change the calories at all, but I'm just gonna go ahead and add just eggs because I mean, two large eggs, yeah, 140. Is that the same? I don't even know. Um, press done. And then also when you're in here, all of the like foods you've used before, like say you like, eat something like pretty often it'll be right here like your breakfast foods you know so you don't have to search for it every time hello you guys so my lunch is in the microwave it's next day wanted to update you on how yesterday went and update you on my vlog for today because it's currently 2 20 and i've already logged my breakfast and stuff and i'm about to log my lunch but yeah yesterday actually went well i was under my calories because I waited too long to eat breakfast, which meant I waited too long to eat lunch. And because lunch was so close to dinner, I was like, I don't want to eat a lot. So I was definitely under my calories. Let me look. Um, oh my God, thank you so much, microwave. That was truly so special. So yeah, yesterday I was under 573 calories. Oh my God, that's a lot. So I only ended up eating 1170, which that's bad. I know I have to like be on like I can't be over my calories, but I definitely cannot be that under my calories I feel malnourished. That's not good. Um, but today so far I've only had 127 calories and it's already 220. So that's also not good I'm doing great truly. No, I've had 147 calories and then I burned off 300 calories this morning um, at, During my workout so now I'm going to add my lunch, which is leftovers from yesterday's dinner. And I wanted to show you this because I thought it was a really cool part of the app. You, say you like make a recipe for dinner, which this is definitely like my, um, I thought this was gonna be the hardest part is when I actually like cook things. Um, but if you actually go in here, you can go to add, um, wait, hold on, where is it? It is, if you go to like add food, you can go to recipes and then create a recipe and you just basically name it. Um, so let's put like, I don't know, rice and beans. <laughs> Make rice and beans and then you can like go in and add literally every, si every single thing that, so like white rice, let's say. White rice and say I made 
rice and beans with, hold on, it has to be in the search. Say I made rice and beans with like two cups of rice, then you would put that in, and then beans would be like, refried beans, whatever, I'm just putting it to show you. You can like add all of the ingredients with the exact measurements that you put in your recipe, and then you put how many servings, like say this amount of ingredients made four servings, and then if you ate one serving, then it basically like adds it all up. So like any recipe you do, you can add everything you put in the recipe and then put how many servings of it it the whole thing makes and then it basically does the math for you and you can just like add that so yesterday i made this whole 30 approved creamy balsamic chicken and brussels sprouts which is this right here and it made about four servings and i'm having one of those servings now so it ended up uh coming out to 468 calories so i'm gonna add that for my lunch right now and yeah so i did that yesterday for dinner too um yeah, but I didn't have a whole serving. I don't know why it says 375. Hold on, I need to delete this and then like add it again. Because, although I didn't even eat the whole thing. So I'm gonna put like I had like three quarters of a serving because I didn't finish my food yesterday. So, uh, put that. And then, so today, so far I've just had coffee and a nectarine and now I'm about to eat this lunch, which is that, but I'm gonna eat the full serving because I need those calories. Then that leaves us a thousand calories for dinner. Oh, also I uh, added honey to the snack because um, every morning I, when I do my apple cider vinegar shot, there's like a teaspoon of honey in it. So I actually should just make that a recipe because yeah, let's actually make that a recipe right now. Um, recipe, create recipe. ACV shot. Yeah, this is a good way to show you guys. So ACV shot, and then we can do serving size one, add food, water, which is like eight ounces of water. Yep, and then apple cider vinegar, and that's like about a ta- it's like more like a tablespoon in there, which obviously doesn't have like any calories or anything, but it'll still like show, oh, it doesn't really have anything, whatever. Um, lemon juice, probably about like a teaspoon. I'm gonna put like a teaspoon. Actually, it's probably like half a teaspoon to be real. Yeah, one calorie. And then put the teaspoon of honey in there. And that is our, so it's like 22 calories basically. So I'm gonna put that and then I'm gonna delete the honey so that we have like a accurate reading. Now we'll do that for yesterday too. Dun, dun, dun. Snack. I'm just gonna put it as snack because it's not really like, it's not a meal. It's not part of breakfast, like it's before breakfast. Um, and then I had a nectarine yesterday. So yeah, that's it for today. I have a lot of calories left for dinner, which is actually good because I'm about to do a cook with me and um, show you guys how I make rice like my grandma makes it like Puerto Rican style, which is gonna be a little higher in calories, but I'm definitely going to eat it. So yeah, anyway, I will talk to y'all later. I'm about to eat this delicious food, mm -hmm. which last night I was like not mm -hmm. very hungry, so I didn't enjoy it, but I feel like I'm gonna enjoy it so much now because I'm starving. Also, literally, I ran the dishwasher and it's all still in there, so. I'm not grabbing a dirty fork. This is a clean fork. I just haven't put them away yet, so I had to grab it from in there. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I like this much better right now because I'm actually hungry. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Hello, friends. Happy Wednesday. So, er, oh my God, it's Thursday? It's literally Thursday. I did not realize, like this week is literally going by so fast. But I didn't update you yesterday because I was feeling like kind of sick and like under the weather and I just didn't want to be on camera basically, which like isn't an excuse, but also like, that's just what it is, you know? But I did still track everything yesterday. So I wanted to kind of update you and show you. And then I also have to track my breakfast coffee. So I think the last we spoke was before dinner Tuesday. So for dinner on Tuesday, I ended up filming a cook with me video of me making um, rice and beans. And I obviously had that after I cooked it. So I did like the little recipe thing in here um, in the lose it app so that I could put all of the ingredients and then I put it, it was about eight servings because a pot of rice that big is usually about like eight servings. So I split it up. So the rice ended up being 204 calories for one serving. And then I had a chicken thigh, which ended up, I like measured the actual chicken thigh and it was nine and one third ounces. So that ended up being 321 calories. Um, so that day I was actually under 500 calories. 
So yesterday I was like, I need to like figure out how to get all of my calories in. So I ate some candy yesterday. <laughs> Um, but yesterday I had my regular breakfast, which was my coffee, and then I had two soft boils, boiled eggs, half an avocado, and a pear. Um, I was Yesterday was like a super hungry day for me. I was like super duper duper hungry, but I found that like all week, especially since I've been working out in the morning, I did not work out this morning, but I'm going to work out later tonight. Since I like burn almost 400 calories every day, that like really makes me super like under my calorie goal, um, because obviously that's like 400 more calories you have to make up. So I'm trying to figure out if I need to like stay with the 1345 budget that the Lose It app gave me or if I should still be like, I don't know, like do I up my calories when I work out and then like stay 1345 when I don't work out? I don't know. Like is that, that's the confusing part to me. Obviously I'll lose more weight if I stay at the 1345 no matter what exercise I do, but is that healthy for me? You know, like am I not eating enough calories like how does that affect me but i guess if you're trying to lose weight then like it's only better i don't know i'm not a health professional um so yeah then yesterday for lunch i had leftover um rice and beans and chicken that like leftover from dinner the night before so i had another chicken thigh and another serving of the rice so that came out to 525 calories my breakfast was 442 and then for dinner because i was like you know what i Honestly, yesterday I laid on the couch like kind of sick watching mukbangs all day. And of course, when you watch mukbangs, they're usually, well, for me at least, they're usually seafood boils. So I was like, I'm craving some crab legs. So I went to the store and I got a pound and a half of crab legs. Uh, it was like a pound and a half with the shell though. So I was like really confused on how to like measure it. So basically what I did was I put all, like basically I ate my crab legs, like it was a pound and a half, and then I measured how much the shells weighed after and I like subtracted to get the cat, like to get the amount of ounces. And then I put obviously like snow or er, crab legs in here. Yeah, snow crab legs steamed because they were just steamed. And then I made like a butter sauce and it had four tablespoons of butter in it. So I counted that. And honestly, the crab legs were only 57 calories. The butter was 410 calories. So like, yikes but I also didn't eat anything else with it like I just ate the crab legs with the butter sauce like no veggies or anything which I probably should have had like a salad or something but I don't I saw the 410 calories from the butter and I was like I don't know I feel like that's too, like I didn't want to like push it and like add anything else to the meal I was like I'll be satisfied with this so I just ate that and then I also had my apple cider vinegar shot yesterday and then I had two starbursts and two jo I have to, actually I have to up this because I definitely had a third Jolly Rancher yeah so three Jolly Ranchers two star starbursts that was my like snack um so I ended up only being so my food was 1541 so I was only under 172 and that's with like my exercise calculated in it I've really been loving in the app that like when I wear my watch my Apple watch all day and whether I work out or like I'm just walking around like today like I'm about to go to the mall so I'll be walking around all day and it'll track all those calories in here without me having to do anything like that's pretty awesome if you ask me um, and then also so far today I'm going to put it in now I'm going to for snacks I'm just gonna put my ACV shot in here because I had that already and then for breakfast I should make a recipe for the coffee yeah I'm gonna do that create recipe cafe busto coffee espresso there we go so yeah yesterday I measured it was about five no it's like four ounces of coffee no it's like five ounces of coffee either way it's zero calories and then also the milk so oat milk unsweetened oat milk and it's about seven and three I measured like when you put it up on the line in the Nespresso like milk steamer it comes out to seven and three quarters ounces of oat milk so I'm gonna put that in there and then also my sugar-free syrup today I had the caramel which is zero calories but yeah I guess I'll put caramel sugar-free Tarani and I put two tablespoons of that so that is gonna be my caramel coffee done I'm gonna change it to caramel coffee and then I can also make one for the vanilla because the vanilla um, sweetener has calories. So I'm gonna put caramel coffee, save that, and then put that in my breakfast. I only had coffee for breakfast this morning. Um, I'm about to head to the mall, like I said, and I'm pretty hungry, so I'm probably gonna eat something in the food court there because I'm gonna be there for a while. So it's probably good that I only had coffee for my morning so I can have like whenever you eat out it's just more calories so yeah we'll see i don't even know what i'm gonna get to be honest but we will weigh the options and see what happens
So I ended up going to Chipotle. I literally sat in that food court and like weighed out my options for like a very long time. And I figured I actually am not gonna work out today because the day got ahead of me. The video I just filmed at the mall took way longer than expected. Um, but it's currently 8.30. I have to pick up Meech at the airport in about 30 minutes. Um, but yeah, anyway, like I said, so I ended up having a Chipotle bowl at the mall and it came out to 750 calories. So I got barbacoa and I only got barbacoa because I noticed it was like a little bit less calories than chicken, but really not by much. Um, also, I had never had it, but it was actually really good. Um, but I ended up getting a bowl with white rice, black beans, the barbacoa, lettuce, cheese, sour cream, and the regular like fresh tomato sauce. Salsa, and they came up to 750 which I thought it would be like way way more um, I skipped out on the guacamole to save some calories because that added literally 200 calories you know me I would usually always get like guacamole avocado on all of my meals but to save on calories since this was like th this is the most calories I've had in one meal the entire week um, so I skipped out on the guacamole for that to kind of like save some cows. Um, but now I have 621 calories for dinner and I have no idea what we're gonna eat because I've been filming and editing all day. So I kind of got to figure that out now. I'm thinking, oof, we have like some chicken I can grill in the fridge, but like nothing to go with it. So I have no freaking clue, hold on. Yeah, I either got to figure that out right now or I have to, oh my God, I gotta pee. Or I have to end up eating out again, which I really don't wanna do. I feel like if we do have to, yeah, we're gonna have to eat out. I'll probably go to Wawa and get like a sandwich or something. Like try to get like the lowest calorie option of a sandwich, which like sandwiches can rack up points, but I think 650 is good. I think 650 is a good amount of points where like, I can get something that's gonna fill me up. It's also late, so I don't wanna eat that much. Get something that's gonna fill me up, but like not go overboard, you know? Yeah, I think like if I just go to Wawa and get a sandwich, that'll be good. Um, so when I do that, I will show you how I track it and like what it ends up being. Today might be the only day of the week that I go over my calories. Um, maybe, we'll see, 621. We got, we got some stuff to work with. It's just eating out is like tricky, you know? In the Lose It app, you can actually, they have like recipe or they have brands um, and you can click either supermarket foods or restaurant foods. So like they had everything, all I had to do was click Chipotle and it had everything that Chipotle offers here. So I just clicked them all, put them in and we were good. Like it was super duper easy. Um, so yeah, that, that was a really cool feature that I didn't know about until today. So love that, it makes eating out super easy. Hello you guys, it's Friday, the last day of the challenge and it's actually like six o'clock right now. As you can see, I haven't really done much today, <laughs> but I also haven't really eaten much. So this morning I woke up and I had my apple cider vinegar shot and my coffee, I had my caramel coffee again. So I logged that and then about like noon, one o'clock, me and Meech were starving because Meech is working from home today. So I made a homemade chicken sandwich and yes, it was deep fried and yes, it was on a potato roll like a bun, like a hamburger bun. And I put some spicy mayo on it that I homemade. But I did the calculation in the recipe creator on the Lose It app and it came out to 408 calories, which really isn't that bad. Um, but I've got, I also didn't work out today, as you can probably tell. <laughs> um, so I've got 845 calories left for the day. We're probably gonna go to the movies later. So I'll definitely be having some popcorn. Honestly, we'll see where the night takes us. We don't really know what we're eating or doing. Probably gonna have a drink of some sort. I might go over today as last day, but I feel like the whole week was kind of successful otherwise. So if I go over a little today, I feel like it won't um, it won't affect the results that much because I was so good the rest of the week. I was like too good almost. The first like three days, I was like too good. I was under my calories. So yeah, and then yesterday, oh wait, I didn't even tell you yesterday, for dinner, we did end up going to Wawa and getting a sandwich. And my sandwich, actually, when you like did, like, you know when you go to Wawa, if you're not from Jersey, <laughs> Wawa is basically like a, it's like a gas station, but they also sell food, but like good food, not like gas station food. Like they make like fresh things there. So you can like go and they have like a little kiosk, you order a sandwich. And when you order the sandwich, it actually tells you exactly how many calories is in the sandwich that you're getting made. So I did that and my, my sandwich came out to 550 calories. And I told you that I had 
about 600 and something calories left so i went to the chip section of wawa and i was trying to find like a hundred a hundred calorie chip option but i didn't and i wasn't all that hungry so i just left it i just went and got my sandwich came home ate it and i was good for the night but the wawa calorie counter thing was actually really cool because wawa is not one of the restaurants on the lose it app because it didn't i just created a new food and i just put wawa turkey sandwich and i entered i obviously didn't have all the like fat and all that to add into it because they didn't give me that much, get that much information at wawa but i did have the calories 550 put that in super duper easy and i counted it and then also yesterday i got a steps bonus and a calorie bonus and that's without actually doing a workout like i just walked around that damn mall all day <laughs> Um, and that gave me 304 calories for the day. So I was super under, I was under 235 calories yesterday. So today, if I go over because I want some popcorn or a cocktail or something, I'm not gonna be too mad at myself. I just hope it doesn't bloat me in the morning when I weigh myself because tomorrow morning, I will be weighing myself. And also because I just feel like I'm not gonna wanna film for the rest of the night because we're just gonna be chilling, having a cool Friday night. So I'll probably film my way in tomorrow morning when I do that and tell you what I eat and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. So it's been a pretty slow day um, eating wise. I really only ate once and had my coffee and that was it. I also got liquid biotin and I added that to my apple cider vinegar shot um, because like I heard that liquid biotin absorbs into your bloodstream way more than like a gummy or like a pill does. So I wanna try that to help like, grow my hair out. So I think I didn't film it today, but I think tomorrow I'm gonna start filming that and do like a month of it and see how long my hair grows. So yeah, that's another challenge you guys can be looking out for. The biotin didn't add any calories to my apple cider vinegar shot, so I just, you know, kept it there. Oh wait, I didn't even add my shot. Okay, let me do it. ACV shot, let me add that. And we're good to go. If you look on the app, it actually shows you like each week, and I haven't gone over each week. Yesterday was the highest, today I might go over. So I'm 18.49 under my weekly budget, that's crazy. This is what's going on right now. Nutrients, let's look. I ate a lot of fat this week. <laughs> that, all that fat is probably from that Chipotle bowl. Also, I've been eating a lot of avocado this week and stuff. Lots of carbs. I don't get nearly enough protein. Okay, we're gonna have to figure that out. Maybe I'll have to do like a, a week diet of low carb or something because my, all three of my food groups are fat, carbs, and proteins, which isn't great. And the lowest one is protein. I literally only consume fats and carbs. Love that for me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello you guys. It is Saturday morning. Technically it's Saturday afternoons. Oh my god, it's already 1.40. But we woke up late today because it's Saturday and we wanted to. Um, but I wanted to update you guys. I'm basically, I just got out of the shower and I'm about to go weigh myself. I already had some coffee because, and my apple cider vinegar shot, because I like to weigh myself first thing in the morning. Obviously it's not first thing in the morning, but like I woke up not too long ago and I've only had the apple cider vinegar shot and my coffee to kind of help things get going, you know what I mean? <laughs> Cause I always like to weigh myself right in the morning before I've eaten anything and after a bathroom break. Cause you get your most accurate reading. You're not stopped up or bloated. But last night for dinner, I ended up having, oh my God so many noises coming from downstairs, Jesus. Um, last night, I ended up having Taco Bell for dinner, so I did go over my calories. Um, I went over my calories, let me go to the app. I went over my calories, 267 calories. But I gotta say y'all, it was worth it that Taco Bell was amazing. But was it really worth it? Because I know some people Taco Bell makes them go to the bathroom immediately. Me, it does the opposite. So the nice before weigh-in bathroom break that I was hoping for this morning did not happen. So I hope that doesn't affect our results. Um, but I ended up, yeah, having a quesadilla, a, a chicken quesadilla, cheesy bean and rice burrito, and a two pack of the Cinnabon Delights because I didn't even order those, but they put them in there. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take this as a sign from God that I deserve dessert tonight. <laughs> So that meal was 1,090 calories, which is wild if you ask me. Like this this app has really taught me like how not, how eating out is so not worth it. Like you can get so much fuller and more nutritious food at home. Like when you make it yourself and you know exactly what's going in your body. Um, and yeah, so eating out is just, oh my God, it's kind of wild how many calories you can rack up from just one meal. Like a chicken quesadilla and a cheesy bean and rice burrito. Like I wasn't even that full yesterday, you know what I mean? Like. Even the Chipotle bowl was like 10 times more filling and still like 300 calories less. So it's kind of wild. Anyway, uh, yeah, I guess we can go downstairs and weigh ourselves. I also obviously am in my towel because I'm gonna take off my towel and weigh myself naked. No, I'm not gonna show you. 
but that's how we do our weigh-ins in this house. So let's go downstairs and see how we did. Okay, so I'm in my downstairs bathroom because this is where we keep the scale. I'm obviously not gonna show you me weighing myself, but I will actually also link this, uh, this scale that I use um, in the description box because I really love it. I actually, it might actually hook up to the app. I'm not sure. So this, the scale has an app and it tracks everything. So right now we're at 203.4 and literally if I have the app open and I step on the scale, it automatically like syncs to it and records your measurement. It's really cool. So I'm gonna link that down below. I'm gonna try to set you up so you can watch like, not me weigh myself, but watch it in live action. Let's see if we can do this. Are you guys ready? We're gonna weigh ourselves. Hopefully, I don't know, I feel kind of fat right now. I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, okay, just trust. Just trust that you did everything you could have actually. Trust. Let's do it. Oh shit. Nice. You see that? 201.8. We lost 2.8 pounds. Is that right? Oh my god. That's really cool. Okay, wait, no, 2.8 pounds since October 25th, but since last week, and then they also have like a thing you can see, since last week, so I went from 205 to 203.4 to 201.8, so wait, that's one, oh, 1 1.6 pounds, another pound and a half, which is kind of crazy. I feel like I lose like a pound and a half every week. Okay, so that's my results. I'm going to go get dressed and stuff, and then we can talk about it. Okay, you guys, so... As you saw in that last clip, I lost another 1.6 pounds this week, which is amazing. I'm very, very happy. I'm very proud of myself. I feel like losing 1.6 pounds per week is very sustainable, and I'm on the right track to actually keeping the weight off, if you know what I mean. It's not like a whole heap of weight that I lost, but it's a very sustainable, good amount that if I keep on this right track, that I will actually lose weight in the long run and not just 15 pounds in one week and then I gain 20 20 in the next. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like, what's that saying? It's a marathon, not a sprint. Like, you're in it for the long run, so take your time, pace yourself, all that good stuff. But yeah, let me get into my thoughts on the week. I have to say, this week was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Even that last day where I went over my calories, I didn't feel bad about it because I knew the rest of the week I was really on track. Like, I didn't go, I was under my calories all the rest of the days. So last night when I decided to have Taco Bell, I didn't feel that bad about it because the Lose It app also gave me a good scope of like my week as a whole. And I knew I did really amazing the rest of the week so I could cheat a little on my Friday night and go to the Taco Bell drive-thru you know what I mean so yeah I'm actually really proud of myself counting calories wasn't really that bad at all especially like especially the features in the app where I could create my own recipes where I could go into restaurant brands and add items that I get that I got while I was eating out like Chipotle and Taco Bell those things really made it so easy where I didn't feel like I had to cheat or I was counting wrong or things were inaccurate. It made it so easy that like it wasn't an extra stress because that's what I thought about counting calories before was that like it was just stressful like to do all the math and do all the counting and everything and like other apps didn't make it nearly as easy as the Lose It app did and I feel like that's because it is geared towards actually losing weight. So after this week and seeing how simple it was and how the benefits paid off, obviously I lost weight this week, I think I'm going to continue to count my calories and continue to track my calories. Maybe not as strict as this week, like if I miss a day I'm not going to like beat myself over the head about it but I feel like counting calories this week wasn't nearly as hard as I made it out to be in my mind so I could definitely keep going with it and it'll actually be a nice tool to help me lose weight in the long run so lose it actually set me up with a premium account for this channel which huge thank you to them because I would say if you guys are gonna try out this app and do this challenge for yourself the number one reason I think you need the premium account as opposed to the regular is the syncing and the integration between your Apple watch or your Fitbit so that you can track your workouts even easier like obviously with the basic account you can go ahead and add how many calories you burned but it just makes your life so much more simple and even like on Thursday when I was walking at the mall I didn't necessarily do a workout but because I walked so much and because I filled my steps goal and my burned calories goal it actually synced 
immediately without me like obviously if I didn't have my Apple watch on and if it wasn't synced it wouldn't have known that I burned that many calories and I, and I wouldn't have gotten that extra 300 calorie bonus because I wouldn't have known how many calories I burned without it syncing to my Apple watch so I have to say this challenge definitely changed my mindset about counting calories completely and now it doesn't seem scary to me and it actually seems more like a tool than something that I would be dreading or like it almost felt like a punishment to count your calories because you're like oh my god I have to be so strict about what I eat but in in this whole week I ate a chicken a homemade chicken sandwich I ate Chipotle I ate Taco Bell and I still lost weight like it's all about just keeping track of what you eat and it really helps you make better decisions because if I ate Chick-fil-a on Monday I might not have gotten Taco Bell last night but if I hadn't tracked it then I probably would have forgot that I ate Chick-fil-a and still got the Taco Bell and I would have been sad this morning when I weighed myself and I didn't lose any weight you know like it just keeps your mind in check and keeps you on track because you can't just eat whatever you want if you're trying to lose weight you just can't I know it sucks but you just can't eat whatever you want you have to be mindful of it and so I'm really happy I did this challenge and kind of took control back I feel like I took more control back of what I eat because I nipped it in the butt and I was on top of it you know so anyway this was a really positive challenge I really enjoyed it shockingly I was dreading this one this is why I put it off to like later in the month I was really dreading this week but I actually enjoyed it a lot more and you'd be surprised at how much like tracking your calories when you see that if you go and work out for 35 minutes that you'll get so many more calories and be able to eat more oh girl you're gonna get to the gym like this week I felt really bad that I didn't work out Thursday and Friday but I still got all my calories like burned on Thursday but yeah anyway so those are my thoughts on the challenge. A big thank you again to Lose It for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna leave all of their info down below in the description box so you guys can go and check out the app for yourself. If you're really serious about losing weight, then I do recommend the premium account. $40 for the year, which if you do the math, so it comes out to be a little over $3 a month for the whole year, which honestly isn't that big of an investment to help you lose weight. So I think you guys should check it out. Even if you don't get the premium account, check out the app because it's really great and helped me so, so like, I wouldn't have been able to do this challenge without them. So make sure you check them out and download the app. Link will be down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I know I told you guys about this challenge early. So let me know down in the comments if you followed it with me or if you're going to try it out for yourself now. I love you all so much. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button before you head on out. And I'll see you in my next video. Uh -huh.